Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome back to our YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to talk about Velo by Wix, which is the ultimate web development platform that revolutionized the way we build websites and web applications. So whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer, Velo empowers you to create stunning and interactive web experiences using JavaScript. With its full stack development capabilities, database integration and support for APIs, Velo offers un unparalleled flexibility and customization as well. Join me as we dive into the world of Velo by Wix and explore its powerful features that make web development a breeze. So what is Velo by Wix? Velo by Wix is a comprehensive web development platform that allows users to build advanced web apps and web websites as well. It provides a powerful set of tools, features and resources for developers to create dynamic and interactive web experiences. Velo by Wix is built on top of Wix which is a popular cloud-based website builder, but Velo takes the development capabilities to a higher level by providing a full stack development environment. It allows developers to ac access the underlying code, customize applications using JavaScript, and interact with databases and APIs. Some of the key features and benefits of Velo by Wix include full stack development. So it enhances developers to bu build both the front end and back end of web apps using a unified development environment. It's JavaScript based, um, meaning that it uses JavaScript as its primary language, which makes it really accessible to a wider range of developers with JavaScript skills. Velo also allows developers to work with databases, enabling the storage and retrieval of data from collections, as well as performing queries and data manipulations as well. Velo supports integration with the external APIs and services, allowing developers to incorporate functionality from other platforms into their applications. Velo also enables the creation of dynamic web pages with custom interactions and user experiences uh, using JavaScript logic. And Velo also provides a rich library of pre-built UI components that developers can use and customize to create visually appealing interfaces as well. And lastly, applications built with Velo can be deployed and hosted directly on the Wix platform, so it simplifies that deployment process as well. Velo by Wix empowers developers to create highly customized web applications with advanced functionality as well, while still leveraging the convenience and ease of use offered by the Wix platform in general. It's a very powerful tool for those who want more control and flexibility of their web development projects. So let's get started enabling Velo on our account. So to get started, the what you want to do is go onto the Velo by Wix website, and if uh, you'd like to go onto it, click the link below. Um, and you just want to sign up for a Wix account if you don't already have one. Um, you want to visit the Wix website, sign up for free, and you'll need an account to access the Wix develop, uh, the Velo development platform. Um, but once you get onto this page, you want to just click on start a project. And you'll be asked to sign up or log in. So you need to create a Wix account first, and then you'll have access to Velo. Um, if you want to log in, just click on the login button. And if you want to sign up, you can just sign up um, just by typing your email and your password, or you can continue with Google and Facebook, whichever one is easier. To get started with Wix, um, it's completely free, so you don't need to worry about any purchases in, at this point. So once you sign up or log in, uh, you can either start a complete site for free, a uh, completely new site, or if you've logged in with the existing site, you can then put uh, Velo on top of that existing site. For more information about how to get started with Wix, please click our please, please li click the link in the video below, uh, the the link in the description below, and get started with Wix. So after accessing and creating your site, you'll find an option to access the Velo development environment. Um, you'll find it up here in the toolbar. You want to look for the Dev Mode button to launch Velo. So you just want to click on dev mode and then turn on dev mode. So this is the Velo editor and it allows you to write JavaScript code, interact with databases and customize your website's functionality. So you want to take some time and explore the editor's features and interfaces as well. What's really cool about Velo and what might, what might get what might make the getting started process a little bit easier is that Wix does have uh, pre-built packages already in that you can just install and uh, customize once it's installed on your website. So under the page code, what you want to do is go into code packages and you can install Velo packages. So these are pre-built Velo packages and you can use them quite easily in your code. So for example, if we go into the packages and click on install Velo packages, 
you can see the bell packages uh, built by Wix and just customize them and, and configure them once you've, they've been installed. Um, so the, some of the more popular ones are integrations with popular CMSs, so an integration with Pipedrive, Salesforce. Um, you can also integrate with Zapier as well. Um, there's a Zapier integration, so you can start a Zap from your Wix site. If you click into each of them, it gives you more information um, about what that uh, package will do. So for example, with the um, Zapier integration, you can create Zaps triggered by webhooks delivered by Wix as well. There's Zoom integration as well, so you integrate with Zoom APIs to manage site member Zoom accounts from your site as well. Um, so lots of sort of pre-built packages that you can use as well. So for example, if we use the Twitter integration, so this will integrate with the Twitter to post and get tweets from your site. Um, and you can see a little bit more about the information as well, when it was published, who it was created by, um, and what it actually does. So the Twitter integration provides you with the ability to perform actions on top of a Twitter account using fellow code. So you can run actions like tweet, get the latest tweet, and tweet in response to events um, directly from your Wix site as well. So there is some setup instructions. So before using the package, you need to go to the Twitter developer site um, and complete the regist registration process um, or sign in if you already have a Twitter developer account. So it's really important that you have a developer Twitter account as well. And then you need to go to the developer portal um, and add a new project and just add the API key to uh, the Wix account as well. And then once you've uh, done that, then all you need to do is install the package and open the Wix secret manager and add all of the details that you got from the Twitter developer account as well. Other integrations also include uh, more structured data for products. This is for SEO structured data. So this essentially uh, it elevates your SEO for products specifically. So it's really good if you have a Wix stores. Um, enabled on your account um, and again it's really simple just to follow the instructions and essentially just get more structured data for your products um, including so first thing you do is fill in uh, the following fields in your site's dashboard and then you just set up the um, dynamic product pages as well um, when it comes to actually using the code editor it's really simple if you go into page code and type in and go into the page that you want to edit the code for you can see the code editor at the bottom and it means you, all your JavaScript code, you can go in and write uh, it just below the on ready function and just run it as, as every single time you write the code. So you can test it as every single time as well. So it's really simple as well. If you have code that needs to run everywhere on your site and not just page by page, then you'll add it into the masterpage.js. So if there's code um, to interact with maybe all the buttons on your site, then you need to type it in in the masterpage.js um, instead of having to write that bit of code on every single page. It saves some time. Um, a lot of stress as well. So between when it comes to Wixvelo, the uh, page code and the code packages are the main uh, usage that you're going to use for that anyway. And Wixvelo also gives you access to the database. So if you click on the database tab, um, you can create your own sort of content collections and connect them to elements on a page to create this kind of dynamic website. Um, and you can also do external collections as well. So you can connect to an external database or you can manage the internal database that you have as well. As you develop your site's functionality, you may want to test a version of your site on a percentage of your visitors. Um, and you can do this by creating a test site. And that way you can use uh, your logging tool to track how it's working before opening the site uh, to more uh, visitors. So to create a test site from inside your editors, you need to have a published site at least once before to create your test site. So we'll publish this site for now. So you want to make sure that your site is in a stage where you're happy enough for uh, the public to see it. Um, and then what you want to do is go on to site and you were looking for the create test site uh, link and then you can view, you view your test site using this URL and this is the URL that you'll give to people um, if you want to share that test site with a small number of people it just means then you can test out a new feature or test out some new code with a smaller group of people uh, before releasing it to the public. In your site's dashboard, you can manage all your test sites. Once you're in your site's dashboard, you can click on the search button to look for the release manager, um, or you can go into your settings. 
and you can see the live site published here and you can also see the test site here and if you're happy enough with the results of your test site then what you want to do is click on the three dots and you can either edit exposure or you can publish this version directly from your dashboard as well so when it comes to editing the exposure um, you can edit basically how much of the site can be uh, tested so and once you've created your test site you can increase or decrease the exposure so the percentage of, of exposure essentially refers to the percentage of your site's visitors that will see the test site when they access your live site it also includes desktop mobile and all browsers overall kind of geographical locations so you can increase and decrease the exposure which means that you more of your site visitors will see the test site or decreases that few site visitors will see the test site um, so you can see exactly how much um, that you want to uh, um, change the exposure for And that concludes our exploration of Velo by Wix, which is that game-changing web development platform that puts the power of customization in your hands. With Velo, you can create stunning web apps, unlock advanced functionalities, and bring your ideas to life using JavaScript. Whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting your coding journey, Velo provides a user-friendly environment to unleash your creativity. I hope this video has given you a glimpse into the possibilities of Velo by Wix and inspired you to dive deeper into the world of web development. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content. Thank you for watching.